This is a journey. Startup Camp is about a community of people who are interested in startups. And when you think about what the community is, it could be something as simple as entrepreneurs that have been thinking about starting up but haven't. It could be ones who are sort of in the pre-launch mode. In other words, they've already started up. They haven't launched their company yet, maybe operating stealthily for now. I think camp is like the idea of like a campfire. We're not a typical conference format where people listen to talking heads in front of PowerPoints. We're about collaborating, sharing ideas, because sometimes there are a lot of people who can gain from the expertise of other people who are in the community. And so this is about bringing the community together, sharing ideas, getting questions answered, so that everybody gets something out of the event. And generally speaking, any one of the discussions you enter, you're either getting something out of the discussion or you're contributing to it. And if you're not, then you move your feet to another discussion. Yo, give me something to dance to. Dance. We use a speed dating format, we call it speed geeking, and what people do is they move from table to table to table, and at each table we have somebody who's starting a company up. The people who are starting these companies up only have five minutes to make their presentation, and it's really interesting to see how they make that presentation at the very beginning of the speed geeking and what they're saying by the end, because their presentation is literally being honed as each round is taking place. They get better and better and better at it because they know they got to convince the rest of the attendees that they deserve to win. When you see the intimacy in this community and you feel the energy here, it feels completely different from a traditional conference. And if you talk to people, they say, this is it. I'm never going to another regular conference again. This breaks the traditional conference model, and that model deserves to be broken. <laughs>